Hey, it's Jamie Talbot again, um, doing this daily show for what we're going to call Liverpool's future CEOs. Basically for anyone kind of between ages 18 and 32, 35 that I know you want more than average, you feel like you've got the hunger, you want to be successful, you want more, or you just want to make more money, or you just think a little bit differently, but you just kind of want more than the average generic work kind of work life where you're going in, check in, check out, make average money, pay the bills. Um, so I want to do this every single day and hopefully helps as, as many people as possible. Um, and today I want to talk about sales and, and the sales pitch. So I've interviewed a, a lot of people over kind of the past few years running a company for all different roles. And um, you, you kind of see the same kind of people coming through. There's some people that interview just because um, they have to, either the job centre tell them to, but they don't really want a job or um, their mum tells them to. Um, and you get kind of people that do want, like we were talking about before, they just want a job to kind of not really have to think about it. They're not really going to look for something big. They're not looking for a career. They just want something to make a bit of money, pay the bills, go out at the weekend. And then you do get the kind of the last category, which is small category. Um, but the, the people are hungry. They do think a bit different. They want something different. Um, and, and that's kind of the who, who I want to talk to. Um, and when you see that, it's refreshing. You feel like the drive, you feel the passion, you feel the hunger. And then a lot of the time when I, I kind of talk about either stuff we do or what we're looking for, and then I wait for some, some people that I'll mention the word sales, and then they're like, oh, hang on a minute. Um, I, I want to be successful, but sales isn't really my game. I'm not good at it. I, I, I don't want to do it. And there's kind of this negative stigma attached to it. Um, and I just think it's crazy because sales is is important for every business, okay? It's the foundation for everything. If you wanna make money, you better get good at sales because that's what generates revenue for every company. It's the most sought after skill. Every business needs it. Um, and, and you have to learn to sell yourself no matter what it is you're doing. If you're a personal trainer, you're gonna have to learn how to sell yourself. Okay, if you're a hairdresser, uh, if you're a gardener, a builder, whatever it is, you've gotta get good at selling yourself. Um, and for me personally, I've done a lot of sales. A lot of it's been face-to-face -face sales. A lot of it cold, going to people that don't know you're there or don't know what the product is or whatever. And, and you kind of have to get the person excited about what you're doing and sell it to them. And that's such an important skill to have. And it means you'll never have to worry about money ever. Um, and there's kind of three things to sales that how I look at it anyway. So the first thing is the mindset. So like I said before, the person that's like, oh, I'm not good at sales, you're right, you're probably not going to be good at sales. Okay, so I have to kind of eliminate that. The second thing is kind of the sales skill or the, the kind of the, the actual pitch of what you say and how you say it. And then the third one is just the numbers. So if I was to start with mindset, you have to be confident um, going into what you're doing. Okay, if I'm not confident, the, the customer's definitely not going to be comf confident in what I'm doing. Um, and I have to have kind of confidence in myself. I have to have belief in the product that I'm selling or promoting. And then also I have to have belief in either the, the kind of the structure or the pitch that I have or whatever. Um, and I also have to assume the yes. I've taught a lot of people how to do sales from scratch. And the biggest thing that we come up against is that a lot of people assume the no. They're assuming that customers are going to say no to them or chuck them objections or blocks or whatever, which does happen. But if I go into every conversation assuming the customer's gonna say yes, I'm gonna increase my chances. Um, and, and that's really how it starts, is the way you think. Uh, and then the second one, which I'll spend a little bit longer on, because this is normally what people kind of get, get more excited about, is the actual, the skill or the actual physical pitch that you use to sell a product. So the, the first thing is there has to be a structured conversation. Okay, I, I wanna get away from the word pitch. Okay, if you pitch a customer, Normally customers, they, they get sold to all the time. So if it feels like a pitch that you've just said it to 100 people before or 100 businesses before or whatever, they're, put the, they're not gonna wanna listen to you. So I have to have an actual conversation and differentiate myself from anyone who's ever sold to them before. Uh, and I like to structure my, um, my kind of conversation in, into a bunch of steps. And, and another thing that this helps you do is, I've definitely seen a lot of people are like, oh, I'm amazing at sales. And then I listen to them or I watch them and they do a lot of sales, but it's very personality based, which is great, but that means you're gonna be just doing sales for your whole life by yourself. 
okay? For you to build something or build a business or train people, then you have to have a replicable system in place that anybody can do. And I firmly believe anybody can do sales. Um, so kind of the, the first thing you have to start with if I'm selling a product is kind of the introduction part. So again, the, uh, the way I introduce myself and you always hear kind of the um, first impression you can't take back, it's the most important. And it's true, those first five, 10 seconds are gonna make or break the deal. So again, I wanna go in, I need to be excited about what I'm doing. I need to be the first one to speak. I need to introduce myself. I see a lot of people, they don't even say their name to the customer. It's a lot harder to say no to someone when they know your name because you're an actual person than just some randomer. So again, I wanna introduce myself, but I also want it to be quite quick um, and have a little bit of urgency with what I'm doing in the introduction. I don't wanna spend half an hour in the introduction giving them my life story. It's a very quick, hey, how are you? I wanna use an icebreaker in there. To, again, anyone who's being sold something, especially if it's cold, um, they're gonna have a barrier up, so I wanna use something to break that barrier down, which I call an icebreaker. Um, and then I wanna introduce myself and I need to let them know um, who I am, what I'm doing, why I'm there. Okay, that's the introduction. Okay, then I wanna move more into more of a story of, of why I'm there. Okay, and then the third thing um, it's kind of an actual presentation of the product. Okay, so if it's benefits, um, if it's how it can benefit them and or what they're looking for or fill some kind of void, uh, but actual benefits of what it is. And that's why I need to read the customer and ask some questions to figure out. A lot of people sell off what they would use the product for, what they're excited about, but I need to find out specifically from the customer. That's gonna allow me to present a product to them uh, and kind of solve their problem. So that's the, the, the presentation part. And again, I have to be excited about that, but I don't wanna drone on. I wanna hit kind of three, four key points that can help them um, and cover off everything there. So that's the presentation. Then the, the fourth part is where I wanna close the sale. Okay, once I've presented, if I've found out what the customer needs and I've presented it in a way that that's gonna solve a problem or help them in whatever it is, the close is the easy part. Okay, if I have a great introduction, um, and, and the presentation's good, the close is very, very simple because they, they should close themselves if you do it right. Because again, if I've built the, the impulse, or I've built the greed or I've built the, the product so much and I've built the value for them and, and that's why I want to create. So when I talk about the cost, I want to do that last. So I want to build, build the value as big as possible. So again, they're like, oh, well, I can't be without, that sounds so good. Then the cost, I want to make it seem as small as possible. So that, that gap between the, the actual value and the cost is huge. So the person's gonna be easier to close. Okay, if I spend half an hour on the cost and this is what you need to do and this is how much it'll cost you and this is what the issue is gonna be, but don't worry, um, you can get this, this and this. I've already killed it before I've even explained how the, the product can benefit them. So again, it builds huge value. Cost, I wanna keep it very low. Um, and then the, the close is very easy. Then I just assume the yes again. So I'm like, so we'll get that done for you. Uh, I'll sort that out for you. I don't ask, I, I just go straight into it because I've built the vine, I know they're excited about it, I've let them know the cost, and then I just go straight into the close. I'm like, so what's your name, is it Mr. Doctor? And I get it down, okay? And then the final part is the, again, the, an easy part, but a very vital part, which is the consolidation. So once I've closed the deal, they know the product, they know the value, they know the cost, I've closed the deal, I wanna consolidate and get them excited again about the whole deal, make sure they know exactly what happens, okay? So again, it, I don't know, depending on the product or the service, I wanna reduce the cancellation, I wanna reduce the, that they don't go through with it in the end or whatever. So again, I wanna get them back excited again, go back through what the process is, go what happens next, um, and that, that's the consolidation part. So again, every product, every service is gonna be different, but I wanna follow, I've sold loads of different things, services, products, whatever. I wanna make sure it has that set structure every single time. And when it does, then it's super easy, not just to do it yourself, but also to teach it and replicate and teach other people how to do it. So that's that part. And then the third part is just the numbers. So no matter how good you get at that or how good you think you are at sales or, or whatever, or how great you are at making people laugh, whatever people say, but it's always gonna be down to the numbers, okay? There's always gonna be more no's than yeses in sales. That's just what it is. So again, if I put loads of pressure on volume and the numbers, um, and work ethic, I'm always gonna do a ton of sales because I'm always gonna find those people. Either the product will relate to you better or 
they're a little bit easier at the start, whatever. So again, I wanna to speak to a huge volume of people, no matter what the product, no matter how good it is, no matter what who, who it is I'm speaking to, if I speak to a big volume, I know I'm always gonna get more sales. So they're kind of the, the three key points with, with sales that I've always followed. And again, a lot of it's very basic, a lot of it you might hear, but hopefully there might be a couple of extra points there that you can take away. But I find sales very simple. When you try and overcomplicate it or you come up with this crazy pitch or it's personality, or I need to make the person laugh or it, you just don't need to. Okay, keep things simple, follow set structure, plus you can teach that to other people and build outside of just doing some sales yourself. And that's really kind of what's helped me starting from just basic sales, building up from there and building a business. Uh, and that's, again, it's a skill that's super important for every business. Okay? Every business survives off making money and the better you get at sales and teaching sales, the more money that business is gonna make. So again, I'm gonna do this, this show every day. Um, hopefully that helps. Obviously it's for, for kind of Liverpool's future CEOs, like I say, people that think a little bit different, that want a bit more, want to make more money, whatever it is. But hopefully I, I've helped out there and, and I'll speak to you um, very soon.